Hey there folks, I'm Eric Osberg and this is the Outdoor Report. Today we're at the International Eel Pout Festival in wonderful Walker, Minnesota and joining me is Matt Brewer from North Country Guide Services and Promotions. Matt, for a lot of folks that come out here this is all just a big party on ice, right? Yeah, definitely. Okay, but for some folks this is all about the pout. So how do I go about catching an eel pout? Well the first thing you do is get away from this, this big cluster. <laughs> you want to get out into the main lake you want to be close to deep water um, with shallow water adjacent because the fish are getting ready to spawn right now. So they're moving up onto humps, onto bars, stuff like that. So you set up in typical walleye locations, you're probably going to have some luck. But the key is fishing after dark. So you can come party all day and then go set up in your fish house and fish, you know, till two, three in the morning and then sleep in and then do it all over again. Show me a couple setups here. What would you sure. use if you're going to go catch some pout? One of our favorite things, this is the trout and pout spoon from Big Nasty Tackle. Okay. Uh, it's got an integrated rattle. And as you can see, I mean, it, it's bright daylight and it's glowing in right. the daylight. So right. this really br bright glow and this heavy chunk of lead allows me to really bang bottom and stir it up. So what am I tipping that with? I'll take a shiner and cut it in half and I'll hook a tail on one treble and the head on the other treble. And then I'll take a full shiner and hook it through the tail on the other so that that shiner is still alive and moving. But that gives me even a bigger profile. Other things like the Salmo Chubby Darter in the glow color works really, really well. Uh, makes a lot of a noise. A bobber set up with something like a clam blade spoon. And I've just got, you know, a St. Croix 28 inch medium rod works great. Typical walleye gear works perfect. It'll give you a run. <laughs> All right, so let's say, let's say I get either lucky or I show some skill and I actually do catch a pout. They're a pretty gnarly looking creature. I wouldn't even know where to start when it comes to cleaning one of these things. So we've got a couple in here. Can you show us how, how do you how do you prepare one of these things to eat? Sure. Obviously, you've got this long, long fin that wraps virtually all the way down to the back. And that's your spine. So I'm just going to start right behind the head and I'm just gonna follow along the spine here. So the, very similar to what we would do with a walleye? Or is it completely different, you can tell? Uh, you, you wanna stay above the rib cage, okay. which starts pretty high. So, okay. so I'm just gonna cut along, along the spine and I can, I can feel that rib cage. If I run my knife, yep. you know, I can feel it ticking. You can even hear it. And I wanna run that all the way back basically to where the belly ends. After I've got that, I'm just making my, my cut there behind the head. Okay. And again, I'm just gonna kind of follow. And then you just start peeling it back. Just like you would any other fish. You're gonna try to follow along the rib cage. Well, you're getting the back strap. Okay. That's your that's your main chunk of meat. And then when I get to this tail section, yep. then I'm gonna cut down. And then I'm gonna take out that whole tail section. Because that's all good meat as well. So you got your tail section. And flip her over. Then you get your back strap. I caught one, I cleaned one. Yep. Now, now what do I do with it? How do I prepare it? What would you do? I chunk the whole thing like this. Okay. The, the back strap and I take the tail section. I'm gonna boil that whole thing. And just plain water with some salt or what are you gonna put in the, in the liquid? Salt water or water with some lobster boil is excellent. Uh, you could add some lemon. Um, some guys do 7-Up or Mountain Dew. That used to be our big thing. Well, I really appreciate you taking the time and showing us how to do this. And there you have it. If you're coming up to Eel Pout Festival here in Walker, Minnesota, now you know not only how to catch them, but how to clean them and how to cook them. Or if you just run into one some night, now you're going to know what to do. Thanks for staying tuned. We'll catch you again next time right here on the Outdoor Report.